In this video, we're going to talk about adjusting your preferences and settings for the Unreal Editor. So we're going to talk about hotkeys, different options, customization features, things like that. If you go up to the Edit menu and click on Editor Preferences, we'll open up the new Editor Preference window. And here we have different sections that are categorized that let you change different settings. So let me close this real quick and show you something. Whenever you select something inside of the Unreal Editor viewport, you'll notice that it's highlighted by a yellow color by default. And that color is right here in the appearance options. So if I click on that yellow and I change it to say like a blue, hit OK, I'll close the window. And now when I select objects in my viewport, they'll be highlighted in blue instead of yellow. And also certain UI elements will now have a blue highlight instead of a yellow highlight when you hover the mouse over certain buttons, like the main toolbar on the top. I'm going to go back to the preferences and I'm going to set that back to the default color. So I just wanted to demonstrate that real quick and show you that you have control over the appearance and different things like that. So let's talk about hotkeys. This is pretty important. I like to customize hotkeys in all my programs, which allows me to work a lot faster and easier. So let's have a look at the level editor section. And here we can see we have a button that says add matinee. And this creates a new matinee actor uh, to edit in our level. Right now there's no default hotkey assigned to it so it doesn't exist. If I go up to the BSP mode section you'll see I have a CSG add and a CSG subtract and you can see that the add has hotkeys already assigned to it which is control alt and A. So let me create a hotkey for the add matinee and this works pretty easy. Just click in the empty text field and then whatever keys you hit on the keyboard Unreal is going to record them and make them the new hotkey. So I'll go with control alt and M for matinee. I think that would be a good hotkey for that. And then to finalize it, just click outside of the little text field. So over here in this gray area of the UI, and Unreal will go ahead and record that as the new hotkey. Pretty cool. If I go back up to the BSP mode, you'll see that we have the default hotkeys, which I can change if I wanted to, but I'm going to leave them alone. If we click the little red X, we'll delete that hotkey and unassign it. So we also have some different level editor preferences, like you can adjust the play preferences for playing and simulating your play standalone game options. We've also got some viewport preferences, so you can change some of those if you want to, which is pretty cool. So a very customizable editor. Uh, one of the options I like to turn off, if I go to the miscellaneous section, or the, I'm sorry, the loading and saving section, you'll notice that autosave is enabled by default. I like to turn that off. I actually don't like autosave in any of my programs. It's just a personal preference. Whenever um, I'm working at the studio or at home or whatever, I turn off autosave on all of my programs, Maya, Max, everything. So if I go to the project settings, we have certain specific settings for the project. So if you remember, Unreal uh, thinks of your game as an entire project that encapsulates your game. So we have some uh, project specific settings. For example, we have some publisher settings so we could put the name of the company. In this case, this is an Epic Games project so it's got their company name. It's also got their, a link to their website. Uh, when you're working on your game project, you might want to put a link to your company's website or if you're just a, a hobbyist like a mod team or something, you could put a link to that too. You can put a description of your project and all kinds of different information. This stuff's pretty uh, useful. Uh, to use. So if we go over here to the maps and modes options, we can actually choose a startup map for our project. So every time you open up this project, you'll get a certain level that will open up by default, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty um, convenient option to have. And that's pretty much it for the preferences and options inside of Unreal Ed. Uh, feel free to go into the editor preferences. There's tons and tons of different options to choose to customize the editor to your liking. Um, I strongly suggest adjusting the hotkeys, that way you can work as fast and as easy as possible.